close, close call here for HSTW. They come up just short and a chance to get to the state duels. Coach, your thoughts on the way the team came out and performed tonight? We performed pretty well uh, against Odable. I thought we performed better than expected. I, I can't remember the final score, but it was a little bit further away than we expected it to be. So that was that was nice. And against Westwood, uh, we were we were in the duel. You know, it came down to that last match, uh, and it just came down to we gave up too many pins. You know, I think it was a seven to seven match split. Uh, you know, Tyler McGregor. You know, he fought his tail off that last match. Uh, and, you know, I don't know if it was really fair, you know, if people put pressure on him to be the last guy out there, but you know, he fought his tail off and just came out short. And it was unfortunate that uh, we dropped the duel, but the guys performed pretty well. Kind of a chess match there at the beginning of that match in the duel with Westwood. Kind of yep. explain the back and forth. Uh, well, at uh, their best kid's a 152-pounder. Uh, he was bumping up to 160. Uh, Dustin Engel is kind of battling a little bit of sickness. So we felt that uh, by bumping him and Timmy up, uh, that we'd have a greater chance for bonus points. And uh, I think uh, Timmy got a pin and Dustin ended up with a, or Timmy got a forfeit, sorry, because they bumped away from him. Uh, so actually the, the points that we were hoping to get there came out ahead um, of what we originally planned on. Uh, if, if I could do it back, I probably would have sent Eric out at 95, um, let Caden wrestle their JV uh, 220 rather than their, uh, um, varsity 82, but uh, that's kind of a mistake that was on my part. You had some guys win some real key matchups to keep you in the duel there towards the end. You take us through some of those key battles. Uh, Carter Fippen at 113 wrestled fantastic. I mean, he came out like a ball of fire and got two early pins uh, in both duels, wrestled fantastic. Then at uh, 26, Joel Becerra came and got us a tech fall to where it set up if we won the final three matches by decision, we, it would be a tie, and then we would win on criteria. Uh, Kane Francois and Jay Heine both won some hard-fought matches against some good wrestlers, uh, you know. And then we just we came up short there in that last one. You got a handful of seniors that obviously you won't be able to have next year. But what does this mean? You know, as you try and build step by step, you go from making the regional duels to making the finals. You know, what does this do for your program going forward? Well, hopefully, it uh, builds confidence in the guys that. They can compete uh, with the best of the best individually and as a program, as a team in the duel. Uh, we brought all of our junior high up here today. We have a large group of eighth graders. Hopefully they got excited to be a part of the, the team aspect of it. And then we've got a lot of JV guys that have kind of had some minor injuries and things uh, that can fill in for some of those seniors that are leaving in the middle of the lineup. So uh, hopefully the guys aren't thinking that this was a, a one-year deal and uh, we can still continue to compete uh, as a as a team uh, in the postseason. It was quite the excitement there in the final match. I mean, it went back and forth. It was a pretty good battle. Just mm -hmm. describe the emotions and the way it played out of being so close and then Westwood eventually claims it. Yeah, it was, you know, it was disappointing, but, you know, Tyler McGregor's got more heart than anybody on our team. Uh, you know, he's a class act. He's, he's one of the best people on our team he's just a, a good a good young man and he's he's going to do great things after high school and uh it was unfortunate uh for him because i know that he cares a lot about the team and the program and uh, i know he's feeling he's pretty down in the dumps right now so that's a little disappointing but he, he should hold his head high he, he competed pretty hard tonight Overall, a great dual season though just any finishing touches thoughts you want to put on with the the season as a team well, uh, hopefully the guys are proud of what they accomplished, and, and hopefully uh, future groups are wanting to build on this and, and make it more of a common thing for us to compete for sectional championships and regional duels and state duel berths. Because um, I feel like it, we have the numbers and we have the, the heart to do it, and we just need to keep working and, and getting better. Right. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time here. Thank you, Bennett.